People tell me that I need to recognize the fact that Germans have a, a special trauma as a result of their guilt-ridden consciousness and conscience regarding the Holocaust. Now, I understand that, but my response is twofold. The first one is, well, you're not the only ones responsible for Nazism. You're neither exceptionally good nor exceptionally bad. But what I also say to them is, how dare you think that rivers of Palestinian blood in your name are going to wash your hands of your guilt of the Holocaust. And that your suppression of Palestinian voices calling for what? Equal political rights in the ancient land of Palestine. That suppression somehow helping you overcome your guilt over the Holocaust. No, it's exactly the opposite. The Nazis will be proud of you because they were into genocide and they went to the suppression of voices calling out for equal political rights. Not only physical entry, but quite remarkably, there was a prohibition for me to connect via video link, Zoom, Skype, whatever, with any event anywhere in German. That was not given to us in writing. That was, uh, these were words spoken by a high ranking police officer to my lawyers uh, and demonstrators during a demonstration. What is the rationale? What is the reason for which a citizen of the European Union and an active politician, active both in Greece and in Germany, has been banned by the German authorities? And of course, it is the complete abrogation of the basic laws of the European Union, which guarantee freedom of movement, of physical movement, and the transmission of ideas of um, free speech. They are not mentioning any reason when at the very same time they're leaking to the German press that uh, they banned me as a terrorist sympathizer. Now, you know, to slap this accusation on anyone that you're a terrorist sympathizer is essentially to expose me to danger. It's essentially to make me a marked man. It's not only unfair and completely ludicrous that I'm a terrorist sympathizer just because I don't agree with Netanyahu killing tens of thousands of people in uh, Gaza and in the West Bank and East Jerusalem. And so I'm determined to embarrass uh, the German authorities, to win the case in Germany, to give the, the judges in Germany, uh, and I'm sure there are some really very good and honest and proper uh, and virtuous judges, the opportunity to say no, not in our name. And even if that fails, we will take them to the European court and I still want to remain hopeful that uh, the European judges will never agree that uh, it is possible to, to remove the right of the freedom of movement across the European Union and the right to face one's accuser. Tell you the truth, I was depressed and saddened because um, even though I have been portrayed as uh, somebody who's been doing battle versus Germany, that has never been the case. I grew up in a fascist dictatorship in Greece in the 1960s and 1970s, and my mother and father, who were uh, dissidents, they always talked about Germany and Austria at the time. These two were the two countries that were supposed to be our friends. So. For me, Germanic lands, whether we're talking about Germany or Austria, uh, were all, always a beacon of hope in moments of darkness. And then they go and do this. The reason why I'm taking them to court is not for me. It is motivated by a question. If they do this to me, somebody who has a public forum, you know, you interview me, you give me the opportunity to defend myself, uh, to speak out, to represent my case and my interests, what will they do? to people who do not have power. Because that is the number one priority at the moment, to defend the people who do not have defenses and to give voice to the silent. Mm -hmm.